Even though there's still quite a bit of time before AMD's Threadripper availability, there have already been a bunch of sightings of the X399 motherboards at Computex. Asus, ASRock, and other vendors had boards on display, and we can now add Gigabyte to the list. Let's take a closer look at this beast right after a message from our sponsor. Our Computex trip is brought to you by Fantex, Cooler Master, and MSI. Now, even though this may look like a fished out product ready to hit the store shelves, like all of the other X399 motherboards we have seen so far, Gigabyte's first product to support AMD's TR4 socket is still a work in progress. The layout isn't final, and it's actually using the heat sinks from other boards in their AMD and Intel lineups. But with that being said, let's go over the obvious things that we can decipher from the layout and what we know about Threadripper. To begin with these processors, we will have up to an incredible 60 PCI lanes at their disposal, plus an additional four from the chipset. Gigabyte has equipped the Aorus board with five mechanical 16x slots, uh, which are each reinforced against possible flex from heavy graphics cards. How these lanes will eventually be divided between the slots remains to be seen, but it's possible that up to 48 can be dedicated towards graphics, along with other 12 being routed towards onboard connectivity, like NVMe and USB 3.1 Gen 2 devices. Speaking of M.2, this particular board has three slots and all of them support the NVMe protocol. There's also eight SATA 6 gigabits per second ports. Since Threadripper will run on a quad-channel memory, there are two DIMM banks for a total of eight slots. We can also see Gigabyte has installed a secondary 4-pin CPU connector, which is likely there to support the current need when overclocking one of these massive processors. Much like Gigabyte's other Aorus gaming notebooks, this one comes with a complete high-end integrated audio subsystem. It has a Realtek ALC 1120 codec and upgradable op amps, but there's no word on whether or not the final product will get the full treatment with the ESS Saber DAC and other audiophile components. The only other thing we can infer from our short time with the X399 board was that the rear I.O. area has eight USB 3.0 ports, a single USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-A connector, and a single USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C port. Hopefully this won't change before launch since a motherboard of this caliber should receive a few more 3.1 Gen 2 ports. It should also be interesting to see how Gigabyte allows this board to evolve between now and AMD's official launch. The other board we saw was a tiny B350 ITX prototype for AMD's Ryzen processors, which will eventually be called uh, the AB350N Gaming Wi-Fi. B350 is actually a perfect fit for the Ryzen ITX board since it doesn't give up anything to the X370 in terms of functionality in such a small space. As usual, there's a single PCIe X16 slot and space for a pair of memory modules. This version will also have an incorporated wireless AC module and should also actually be a pretty competitive overclocker too. Pricing hasn't been set yet uh, and we would expect it to be very affordable and it could become a great platform onto which you can build a solid ITX system. So that wraps up our tour on Gigabyte's upcoming AMD motherboards and we're sure to see more from them in the near future. As usual, make sure you stay tuned to the channel for more coverage from Computex 2017. I'm Ibro with Harakinex. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.